Okay. Yes. Hello, everybody. We have a special guest all the way from the beautiful country of Argentina. And mm -hmm. we all know that we have one of the best popes in the world now from Argentina. So it's, it's a great place. We know mm -hmm. that. So today we have a special guest who, who I think is a musician and also is a book author. You know, I'm a book author, so I, I really love book authors. Mm -hmm. Ah. Dice que pienso que es un, music, un músico, pero también es un autor y yo, yo soy un autor, eh, así que a mí me encantan los autores. Bueno, muchas gracias, muchas gracias por invitarme y muchas gracias por eh, darle voz a mi, a mi proyecto. Y sí, soy músico, por empezar soy músico, eh, toco saxo tenor, alto soprano, jazz, hago jazz, y bueno... Okay. So thank you, thank you so much for inviting me and thank you for giving me a voice and giving my work a voice. But to start with, yes, I am a musician. I play uh, saxophone and tenor sax. Alto and, and soprano. Uh, alto and soprano. Yeah. Right. So, so let's introduce you to the world and to his name and just talk a little more. Ok, eh, si puedes hacer una introducción, así eh, todo el mundo sepa quién, quién eres y de qué se trata. Bueno, eh, soy Fernando Carranza, hace más de 30 años que estoy dedicado a la música, al jazz, a la improvisación, al estudio. So, my name is eh, Fernando Carranza and I... I've been a musician for over 30 years and I've dedicated myself to music uh, in this time as a... Uh, un un, un eh, amante de la armonía y del estudio armónico. A lover of harmony and... Uh, uh, and harmony, and, yeah, study of harmony. Y un poco el libro refleja esa búsqueda que, que hice durante todos estos años. And the, the book that I wrote uh, is a reflection of all of what I've been studying in harmony in the last 30 years. Okay. Is it a book about himself and music? Si es un libro del Dios y la música. No, de él, del mismo. Sí, sí. La verdad que yo, hay una frase que que me identifica mucho, que es pinta tu aldea y pintarás el mundo. Great. <laughs> no, so there is, there is a phrase that, um, that embodies me, which is, que pinta el... Uh, paint. The, uh, aldea. City. Aldea, I don't our, know. Our, our city. Okay, who paints our city, paints... The world. Paints the world. Wow. Wow. I might have to use that that is tell them that is beautiful es muy lindo seguro lo voy a tener que usar no es una frase mía it's not mine it's not mine but it's not my own but it's something that I live by y y entonces comencé a hacer una búsqueda a través de escalas y acordes eh, para crear mi propio lenguaje y mi propia forma de componer so what I ended up doing is I went in search for scales, for scales and chords, chords uh, and add my own um, reflection on them. Buscando la, buscando la identificación emotiva de esas escalas mm -hmm. y acordes. Searching for the emotional um, motiva, eh, motivation. No, eh, emotional. Eh, la representación emotiva. Eh, the eh, emotional representation of the chords. Okay, okay. And so, scales. Okay, so tell us two things. The title of the book. Let me ask that first. What's the title of the book? Mm -hmm. El título. El título es El libro azul de práctica emotivo sensorial en música. So, blue book or libro azul eh, of... In emotional practices in music. in music. Okay. Where where can we buy buy this book? Eh, lo puedes comprar en eh, mi sitio web que es mm. www.fernandocarranza.com barra eh. shop. Okay. So you can find it in my personal uh, webpage, www. 
Fernando Car uh, Fer Ca eh, Carranza, so F E R C A R R A N Z A -A. dot com forward slash shop. We, we, we will put it. We'll put it in the description for everybody. Okay. We'll okay. And so okay. the name of the book is Blue Book of Emotional Sensory Practice in Music. Wow. Can do, can we see it? Can we see it? Uh, si lo podemos ver. Eh, no, no, en este momento no, porque está digital solamente. So no, no he, lo tengo. he published it, but he decided to release it only digitally for the moment. So it's a oh. digital release. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so would tell us what, what made him become a part of music and music become a part of him? ¿Qué, qué hizo que eh, la música sea parte de, de vos y que vos seas parte de música? Bueno, eh, mi, mi, en mis comienzos, eh, mi madre era profesora de piano. Y yo tuve un vínculo muy fuerte con mi madre. Y, y bueno, y después todo eso me llevó a hacer todo un viaje emocional y a vincularme desde lo emocional con la música y en especial con el jazz. Más, más específicamente, y, y descubrí un montón de, eh, de relaciones entre mi vida y lo que había motivado el surgimiento del jazz en Estados Unidos. Ok, so um, my journey started with my mother. She was actually a, a piano teacher, and that was my first encounter with music, which caused me to have, um, to find a more emotional connection with music. And in, in particular, what attracted me was jazz. And I found that there were a lot of connections or uh, things that I could relate to uh, in, in jazz music with what was happening in jazz in the United States. Porque en, en mi vida, porque en mi vida, eh, ese sentimiento de libertad que llegó a, a crear esa música en Estados Unidos eh, me sirvió a mí para liberarme a mí de muchas cosas malas que, que me rodeaban. So um, it was because in, in my life, uh, this sense of freedom that existed in jazz uh, allowed me to, to free myself of some um, negative and bad things that were happening in my life. And so um, I was liberated when I, when I was with music. Pude entender por qué eh, eh, los afroamericanos crearon ese tipo de música. Me resentí muy representado. I, I could understand why Afro-Americans create or, or created or, or used this music in the way that they used to express themselves in jazz. And I found myself identified in, uh, in it. Yeah. I think, Tim, I think in all cultures, um, I think that, okay, here in America, the African Americans came up with the music, but I think jazz may have been created in Argentina, in Europe, different places, people expressing themselves. And mm -hmm. I'm sure there's beautiful melodies of Argentina and unique jazz Argentino music that the world would love. Mm -hmm. Sí, eh, sí, estoy totalmente de acuerdo. Eh, yo, eh, por eso es que un poco desarrollé este libro para mostrar mi acercamiento al jazz desde Argentina, desde mi cultura y desde mi país y desde mi ciudad específicamente, mm -hmm. para darle una identidad propia y personal. Okay, so I totally agree with what you're saying, and it's part of the reason why I started to 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 do the book and to develop the book because I wanted to um, show jazz from the Argentine perspective, from the perspective not just of the country but of my province, of my city, of where I'm from. Podés escucharlo en los tres CD que lancé que están en, en Spotify, en la plataforma Spotify. And you can listen to my music um, on Spotify, the three CDs that I uh, recently released, where you can see um, the development from the theory into practice. And I, so I think we're all in from, from Latin America, South America, 
and America and Europe, we all cre are creators. Uh, if we call it jazz, but we all are creators of our own uh, um, invention of music. O sea, podemos pensar en Sudamérica, después en Central América y, y por arriba América y también Europa, y podemos llamarlo jazz, pero la verdad es que todos somos creadores o somos dueños, digamos, eh, de la música claro. que, 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 que hacemos. Sí, sí, totalmente de acuerdo, porque todos fuimos creados por el mismo creador y bueno, estamos en distintos lugares, pero compartimos esa comunión entre todos. So we, we, I completely agree with what you're saying. Uh, we are all created by the same creator. And in that sense, uh, we, are all, we are all connected in the same way. How, how, how do you feel when you have an audience, you know, listen and love your music? How does it make you feel? ¿Cómo me hace sentir que alguien le guste? Y claro, ¿cómo te hace sentir tener una, un público que escucha tu música y realmente eh, le, le queda o le encanta, le gusta? Me, ¿Cómo te hace sentir? Me hace sentir muy bien, muy bien, como que me siento como que voy por un buen camino, aunque eh, eh, debo decirte que en este lugar donde estoy viviendo, esta música no es común, ni es popular, ni muchas veces no es entendida. Pero, pero siento, gracias a, a internet, siento que he llegado a, a gente y que mucha gente me devuelve cosas muy favorables y muy positivas. Y eso no me, no me enorgullece a mí, sino que yo lo traslado a quien me creó, que es a quien le dedico todo lo que hago. Ok. Uh, so, I, I, obvious, I feel great. I feel very, very good when um when when my music resonates with other people uh, it makes me feel as if i'm in i'm in the right direction like i'm doing something right uh, positive but um i have to say or i have to admit in the area where i live it's not such a popular style of music it's not it's more uncommon maybe it's even misunderstood jazz is misunderstood but um I do feel that with the internet um, and with other possibilities, I have my music has reached other people, and um, and I feel that you know when I get positive criticism, that means that um, you know I, I take something from that positive as well. But I don't I don't consider myself proud in myself. I feel like it's something that was given to me. From, from God, and I, I, I thank him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so with other music, like, that's unique to Argentina, to your Argentina country, do, do you play that and also get enjoyment from people liking your, your, your country's music? O sea, estaba preguntando si tocas otros géneros de música, si tocas géneros argentinos de música y si muy sentís... Muy rara vez, muy rara vez. Y si sentís que la gente acá eh, como que le gusta. Eh, yo lo que trato de hacer es, porque yo eh, tomo el jazz como un medio y no como un fin. Eh, ¿Qué quiero decir con esto? Que el jazz eh, hace que otras músicas del alrededor del mundo se liberen tiene ese efecto entonces yo trato de ap aplicarlo a mi, mi a mi folclore de, al folclore de mi país eh, pero bueno eh, entra todo en la misma bolsa al gusto de la gente entonces para eso prefiero hacer jazz directamente <risa> ok, okay. Um, so this one might be a little bit difficult <laughs> no, so uh, he says that um, so I use music as um, or I feel that jazz is actually a medium it's not a genre in and of it's in and of itself and it's used and I use it as a way to liberate or to free other types of music or other styles of music. So when I play jazz, I consider the, um, the national folklore music. Um, but in all honesty, I prefer 
to, to just play jazz. <laughs> sí, es que lo, la, todas las innovaciones armónicas que trajo el jazz eh, son los que permiten liberar la, las músicas populares. Y además debo decir y admitir con un gran agradecimiento que ustedes de su país brindan ese material gratuitamente, mm. que es algo que no sucede acá en, dentro del, 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 del medio local. Ok, uh, <laughs> okay so, um, harmonic jazz um, scales, eh, no, or eh, no, harmonic la, jazz. Las innovaciones armónicas. The, in, the, not innovation, is it innovation? Um, no, the, um, the, the, the... Descubrimiento. Los, yeah, the... Um, the um, development of harmonic jazz right okay. is allows you you can use the theory of harmonic jazz in free. Uh, to free other styles of uh, of music and what i have to thank um uh, the united states americans and the style of music is that this material is actually free and accessible to anybody to use and to manipulate which is great it's not a small thing and it's what has allowed me to progress in in my work i grew up my dad played saxophone and i played saxophone and my um cousin and also my my uncle played saxophone but i don't think i'm as good as you are <laughs> but, but, but i want to say that that uh, just a, a thought that If you play classical music or classical Argentina music to and people listen, and then you play jazz, maybe some will come and say, I want to hear that too. Yeah. 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 Eh, eh, mira, then... sí, mira, eh, yo muchas composiciones inconscientemente. Eh, no me doy cuenta, pero eh, eh, muchas melodías y ritmos son folclóricos argentinos y yo compongo la composición como para jazz y cuando la llevo a practicar con mi grupo, empiezan a decirme, ah, pero esto suena a, a bueno, ritmos folclóricos nuestros, chacarera, samba, bueno. <laughs> uh, yeah, so actually, when I'm composing music, subconsciously, I have some of the folklore rhythms or melodies in my in my composition, but I compose it for jazz. I don't I don't think about how I confuse the two by any means. And when I take it to my band and we start practicing it, my bandmates tell me, oh, like that's from the north or that's the folklore <laughs> from wherever, for example, Chacarera. Sí. That's what he was saying. Eso sale naturalmente. That comes out naturally. It just comes out naturally when I'm composing. Wow, wow, wow. Do, do you touch young people to to play a little or, or, or make them interested to maybe want to play if if maybe professionally or maybe just for fun in front of family. Sí, um, and encourage, and if you both say to the juventud o, o si quieres promocionar a los juventud que tocan eh, jazz acá, igual si sea solamente para la familia sí. o, o si es bueno, un grupo chiquito, pero que como en una forma de promocionar el género. Sí, yo lo hago. Sí, sí, claro. Si vos tenés ese vínculo con lo, el juventud o si tratas sí, de, sí. de enganchar o de atrapar los, ju sí, eh, los jóvenes. pero me es difícil. ¿eh? No es fácil, no es una tarea fácil. Sí. Eh, porque, bueno, manejan otros códigos y vienen con un chip eh, de, una, de una realidad propia, como que ya son dueños de una realidad. Y, y el, el ya y el jazz y la música y la vida en general te llevan a darte cuenta de que nunca estás en posición de la verdad real, sino que siempre estás evolucionando hacia, hacia eso. Um, uh, uh, one second. <laughs> he, he's saying that he, he, he would love that project and, and he tries to do it, but it's definitely not an easy thing to do because um, they already... 
the the youngsters or young people but I don't think it's just young people maybe it's people who you mean more people who's who are um who are going toward music they have a certain um way of thinking about music and it's very that he he was saying they they already come wired with a specific chip <laughs> like okay. with us already they already think they know how to approach music and it's very difficult to to get to change to change to change yes. that and that you know that you're not you don't you don't know everything about reality that reality is something that's constantly changing or moving forward or evolving, evolving. so right so he takes the approach that i'm constantly learning because because that's reality reality evolves so i i have to adapt to that and learn from that and maybe that concept not everybody um teaches music with that concept so it's very difficult to uh attract young people it at least in our reality in our city in our context now what about the music his music and and music like his music which i sure is i'm sure is great music um entering tv argentina tv and argentina film and also American TV, American film, European TV, the world. Mm -hmm. His his music entering TV and movie soundtracks. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. Eh, sí, eh, él, él pregunta, me parece que quiere preguntar eh, de tu música, tener posibilidades de tu música en... Eh, en los medios eh, de televisión, digamos, que sí. entra en las películas argentinos, porque él dice, estoy seguro que tu música está muy, buen, muy buena, entonces eh, eh, quería hablar de ese, sí. no mí... solamente acá, sino sí. en Estados Unidos, sí. sino sí. en Europa, o sea, ese tipo de músico, ese tipo de música que... Qué posibilidades, sí, o, o posibilidades. Sí. Eh, bueno, sí, a mí me encantaría, pero bueno, es, es, como que, es como que no se ha dado ese paso, no se me ha dado ese paso, pero bueno, estuve muy cerca de ir, de ir a Rusia, bueno, ahora bueno, Rusia sí, complicado. <laughs> es un desastre, es un mes. Sí, so, so he said, yeah, I mean, it's something that I've thought about, something that I, obviously I would like uh, to happen, it just hasn't happened yet for me, um, I've had a almost possibility of going to Russia with uh, with my music, but of course Russia is very a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. <laughs> Not now. Eh? No, no. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. <laughs> but um, it just hasn't happened yet. I, I guess yet, right? Yeah. It hasn't happened. Tell them there may be some websites, family or, or friends can help to in America to put to submit music and maybe. American TV or maybe American film say, oh, wow, what is this? And and they they play and it be in the big, big, the big theater. It plays. Sí. Oh. Dice que quizás hay, hay unos fuentes en donde los eh, de Estados Unidos pueden eh, como eh, ofrecer su música eh, para que entra en un medio de películas y que, sí. sea, y que sale grande y que sea <ríe> fantástico. Me, me encantaría, me encantaría. Estoy siempre abierto a cualquier posibilidad que pueda surgir. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously I, I would love it uh, and I'm always open to any opportunity or possibility that comes my way. So. Y yo siento que mi música tiene ese potencial. And I feel like my music has the potential. I feel like it... It does have the potential to do what it needs to do to be where it needs to go. So, yeah. so we look for in the future that mm -hmm. it gets to Argentina TV and, and film and US and different places. And there's websites maybe friends can help. His, mm -hmm. his thing is music. Mm -hmm. So he needs someone that will help the other way, you know, look the internet, but music. So we look for that. And even radio, radio, you know, radio here and radio around the world too. 
Dice, sí, eh, la tuya es la música, es obvio que es la música, pero seguramente si sí, los amigos pueden ayudar eh, en, en que llegamos que su música llega a, a otro nivel, digamos. Sí, seguramente que sí. Mira, voy a, te voy a contar una pequeña anécdota. Vino a tocar acá un gran guitarrista de jazz, John Stowell, eh, hace unos cuantos años. Y me ya me conocía de internet, así como tenemos un contacto con vos. Y, y cuando vino a Río Cuarto, eh, estaba en el escenario y me llamó. Me dice, vení, venía a, a compartir conmigo. Estuvimos tocando un par de estándares y la misma gente de acá se sorprendía porque no, no entendía cómo era el vínculo. Pero bueno, el vínculo se generó así y él me dio muchas manos en ese sentido de con contactarme con gente eh, que, que he podido estar en contacto estos últimos años. Okay. So, yeah, obviously, going back to your first comment, I would love that. I would love my music to, to reach another level, obviously. And I want to tell you a little bit of an anecdote uh, in, in, this, in the sense to get an idea of what, what happens here. <laughs> so, a, a big uh, jazz guitarist, Guitar. Uh, John Stowell, he, he came to, to my city and he was playing, he played and he, he invited me to play on stage with him. So we, 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 I, I joined him, of course, happily, and we played some very good music, we played some good standards, a lot of good standards. And the audience didn't understand it. They didn't know how to react to what was <laughs> happening on stage. They didn't understand the Como style of music class. and how... Cómo, cómo llegó a invitarme a tocar. And, and how uh, he was even invited to play on stage with him. So, uh, and of course he helped. He helped a lot in, um, in making some connections, learning more about, uh, or meeting other people who play music. Um, Sabes cómo es el dicho, nadie es profeta en su tierra. Uh, no, right. No one is a prophet in their own country or in their own, this, on their own this, land. This, this is true. This is true. So right. I, I look for it in the future because I, I feel the vibrations of greatness with his music that mm -hmm. it gets to TV and it, it gets to uh, radio and to film and then people hear it and then they, they learn to love. They learn to love. They have to learn to love. Like vegetables, you don't. You want. You want the candy. But when you get older, you eat the vegetable. Then you. Oh, I love vegetable. <laughs> sí. No, dice que que él siente la, la, las buenas vibras con tu música y obvio que que lo quiere para re, quiere que vos estás realizado en en ese ambiente de televisión para que la la gente llega a escuchar tu música y, y dicen, ah, mira qué lindo, qué buena la música esa, y que lo pueden eh, aprovechar o, o, o disfrutar, digamos, eh, en ese nivel. El sí, cual. esperemos que sí. Yo, to, yo estoy, estoy siempre eh, buscando esa oportunidad y yo estoy siempre esperando que surja ese vínculo para poder, para poder mostrar lo que soy capaz de hacer, gracias a Dios. Mm. Yeah, of course, I'm always open, like I've already said, I'm open to the opportunity and hopefully it happens and hopefully it's, it's an, another way for me to, to show my music and um, well, be thankful. So we, we, I guess we'll kind of start the, stop the interview, but first we want to talk about the book, you know, the, the title of the book and just a brief what he wants to tell the audience about the book to get the book okay so si puedes ahora hablar más del libro el título bueno ya lo tengo pero hablar más sobre qué qué quieres qué es el mensaje del libro el mensaje del libro es que nosotros estamos atados a convenciones musicales que son creadas por el hombre y que esas convenciones así como son creadas por el hombre o sea Parto de un principio. La música eh, es para el hombre, no el hombre para la música. Eh, en, entonces, la música es, un, un, es dada por Dios. Y entonces nosotros somos libres de crear nuestras propias convenciones 
y poder generar material más novedoso y que nos identifique más a nosotros mismos, porque en definitiva lo que venimos a mostrar es nuestra identidad, nuestra distinta forma de ser. Yo no puedo ser como vos, y vos no podés ser como yo. Eh, entonces, este libro lo que intenta es mostrar distintas variantes de escalas y de acordes que no se usan en la música popular, eh, por estas convenciones que estoy hablando, y, y cómo sí pueden funcionar. Y yo pongo ejemplos de composiciones mías, y después lo pongo, eh, hay un gran referente mío, que es George Russell, que es el autor del libro, del libro Lydian Chromatic Concept of Tonal Organization, eh, y adapto todo lo que yo eh, desarrolle al sistema S de George Russell. Okay. Good. So again, the title of the book is Blue Book of uh, Emotional Sensory Practice in Music. And essentially the message that I'm trying to get across with the book is this idea that people are, are attached to musical conventions, which are originally created by, by people or by humans. And, the, I, and I think it's flawed because I feel that music is created for humans not humans need to create music and no, so eh, no eh, no es eh, eh, no es que la música está creada para no es que el hombre está creado para la música sino que la música está creada para el hombre o sea, el hombre está primero <laughs> right so it's not that music is created no it's that humans <laughs> de la, de vuelta. la música es para el hombre y no el music, hombre para la música. Right. Music is for the people, not people for the music. Sí. Not people for the music. So it's not the Dios, people. Dios de, le da la potestad al hombre para que cree las convenciones. Right. God created or God gave us the possibility to to make music. Para hacer nuestras propias convenciones. To create our own conventions or our own, um, our own conventions to then be acorde. able to uh, show our own identity and our own selves through music. Que es la, la, so, última, la finalidad real de la música right, para which, mí. Which is the, the end goal of music mm -hmm. is to show one's identity or, or one's true self through music. And if we go by the conventions, we're not we're not able to reach that final goal of, of showing our true identity. So what I've done, sí. right? So what I've done is I've, uh, I, the book has various scales and chords and I show you how they could be used and how, um, uh, how I use them as well with, um, with the backing or or the main framework is from George uh, Russell. Lydian Chromatic Concept. So the name of the book is Lydian Chromatic Concept of Tonal Organization. Of tonal, and I adapt his work mm -hmm. uh, into my. Um, sí, dentro de mi universo de escalas y acordes. Eh, in in my own universe of scale and chords, and that's what I present in the book. Wow, wow. So <laughs> the tell, that's awesome. That's no, that's great. That's great. Tell, um, so tell us where we can again where we can find the book and then the last thing, all the places that we can um we can find him and his music and tell them we'll put it in the description, but just tell the audience. Because there may okay. be people that speak Spanish as well. Yes. Okay. So, decirlo en español y después voy. Bueno. Pero no es solamente para el libro, sino también para, um, para vos, para poder escuchar a ti y Bien. tu música y dónde lo podemos encontrar. Bueno, en, en Spotify está como Fer Carranza Jazz. Eh, y para comprar el libro está en mi sitio web, que es www.fercarranza.com diagonal shop. Okay. So you can find me on Spotify as Fer Caranza Jazz. And uh, you, of course, the book, as we've mentioned before, you can find it on my personal website, www.fercaranza.com forward slash shop. And the book, again, is Blue Book of Emotional Sensory Practice in Music. Es que mucho material, es mucho material pero sirve, sirve para poder indagar nuevas opciones eh, dentro de lo tonal, 
porque eh, como yo digo en la, en la parte introductoria del libro, eh, tenemos dos opciones, estar en lo, a, en lo tonal o irnos a lo atonal. Y yo creo que hay diferentes variantes dentro de lo tonal que todavía no están indagadas. Ok, so the book is, um, is geared toward the tonals of, the tonal chords. No, the tonal... Eh, eh, la, la música tonal. The eh, tonal music. Eh, 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 hay, un, hay un campo que es la música tonal y lo opuesto es la música atonal. All right, so there's a group of, uh, there is tonal and atonal music. The music. And within the tonal music is where this... La, la música tonal está circunscripta por ciertas leyes, pero, so, pero so, esas leyes pueden ser ampliadas dentro de lo tonal, y eso es lo que yo muestro en el libro. So the, the tonal music is um, worked through uh, certain laws of music and what I'm trying to show is within those uh, restrictions or laws we bueno, can actually amplify it and we haven't explored it they have que que yeah there's a lot more options than the ones that we've been taught and mm. that's what the book is about yeah. so I wanted to say thank you both of you were were excellent and um hopefully have it in paperback I definitely want to get it but thank you. This was a great experience for the audience, and and um, we really appreciate you coming. No, muchas gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias a vos. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad, por la generosidad, y bueno, gracias, gracias y bendiciones. Uh, thank, thank you, th thank you for everything. Thank you for the opportunity, and God bless. Right. Have a beautiful day. You too. Gracias. You too. Again, bye, you. bye bye. Bye bye.